So I sent the funniest text message to my friend Tiffany. We just got here in Roanoke, Virginia, and she said, what room are you? So I told her, and then I said, sorry if you can hear me farting if you're next door. And I said, just kidding, but I thought it was the funniest thing because I think she will appreciate the humor for sure. And then I'm just quickly trying to get ready because we have to get going pretty much right away. We just got in, but we're going to dinner. We're actually going to Ballast Point, which will be really cool. I've wanted to go there for a long time. So I'm excited we get to do that tonight. So I'm just using this Fenty Beauty Compact and I'm just going to gently put both the shades on my eyes because I don't really have time to mess with too many colors right now. Just a little something and I really do want to brush my teeth because I did take a nap on the plane. And you know what happens when you take a nap. Your breath gets stanky. Stinky. Okay, there we go. It is, I don't even know what time, 9.38 p.m. on the East Coast, which means 6.38 on the West Coast. So I'm actually going to go hit up the gym right now because I have access to a free gym this week because I'm going to be in hotels. So I'm going to grab some gym clothes and go for a little run or something, probably shower, finish up answering emails, get a blog post ready for tomorrow, you know, just getting shit done usual but we had a really good time i love being in roanoke i love this client so much it's such a great part of virginia it's beautiful we saw deer on the drive home i mean it's just amazing i love it here and it's only our first night we still have quite a bit of time here which is amazing so yeah gym first then some emails that type of stuff i'll shower at some point and then maybe get to bed by midnight here maybe not i don't know we will see so I have officially done of my, all of my, bleh, I can't speak. <clears throat> so I've officially done all of my skincare. I'm just chilling right now on the bed, finishing some work per usual, life in a hotel. Um, and then I am just going to go to sleep at some point. I'm updating my phone right now. I'm hoping the new update on iOS gets rid of all the bugs because there was a lot of bugs. There was this annoying thing on my phone where when I would click into the text message, it wouldn't actually go down to where I could reply. It was like hiding the newest messages so it didn't look like there were any. Super annoying, so hopefully they fix that. But anyway, I think that's it for today. It's been a really long day. We traveled and it's a, always a long trip from Tucson because it's not Phoenix International Airport, it's Tucson and it's a very small airport so you always have to have a layover somewhere. So we went to Atlanta, two and a half hour layover and then we landed in Roanoke. So that was our trip and then we went to Ballast Point today. That was a lot of fun. And then I actually went and ran one and a half miles and then I biked for a mile. So I'm pretty proud of that because I don't really... I haven't been working out as much as I was during this summertime, so pretty proud of that. And I'm planning to go in the morning, then shower, then get ready for the day. So hopefully that all works out in my favor. I'm going to go and get some emails done, do all that boring stuff, and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Just got the text from Tiffany that she's ready and she's downstairs. Just wanted to show you my outfit real quick. The lighting in here is terrible. 
but this is a gorgeous gorgeous dress from stitch fix it's kind of like kimono style vibes i would say and then i'm wearing these sandals that i've had for quite some time from lucky they're pretty comfy and they've got a little heel pretty cute the only thing i don't like is how wide my foot looks but the struggle is real when you have wide feet and then just ready so i'm gonna go head downstairs and then we're gonna be in training all day so I won't have anything exciting to show you guys for a little while. That's okay. We will just hang out later today once we're at dinner and doing some fun stuff. And then of course I will share all the food that we eat throughout the day because word on the street is there's gonna be a lot of food. So I may need to go to the gym for uh, the next month in order to work off all this food, but we know. I don't know if that's actually gonna happen. So anyway, <laughs> enough rambling, let's go. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is the biggest slice of pizza <laughs> I've ever seen. And this is my hand for reference. Holy crap. I love this big table. Follow my friends. <laughs> and we're at a place called Local Roots. I hated it. It was awful. Hey guys. So, washed my hair tonight and I need, there it is. I was like, where did the towel go? Gotta wrap it up because whenever I'm in humid places, my hair never dries overnight. Whereas in Arizona, my hair is literally dry after like 15 to 30 minutes. So, look a little crazy right now really whoa really red because <laughs> i was just scrubbing my face exfoliating doing all of that anyway so i did go to the gym well let's back it up went to dinner showed you some clips from dinner then we got back to the hotel i went to the gym now i'm finally settling down sitting with my laptop so i can actually get some emails answered and then tomorrow is going to be a very very long day because we have a full day with our client and then we have to drive five and a half hours to north carolina so that is going to be a very long drive especially like around 5 p.m with rush hour woo wee so yeah we're not really looking forward to that but you know what it's fine we will get through it there's three of us it'll be fun okay I am going to let you guys go. I'm going to get to some emails, some boring stuff, and I will see you in the morning. Bye. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday morning. Today's our last day with our Roanoke peeps, and then after our long meeting today, we are heading to Wilmington, North Carolina, which is a really far drive. It's about five and a half hours. Hopefully, it's only about five and a half hours because we're going to be going during rush hour, so it could be much longer. But we're gonna stop midway in about Raleigh and have some dinner so we'll have a little bit of a break which will be nice but it's gonna be a long day and I have hair stuck in the back of all my piercings because it's super frizzy here when there is such bad humidity and now my hair needs wow there is a really big knot right here oh man I just put my hairbrush away shit I'm gonna have to grab it survive with this frizzy ass hair. Yeah, the humidity is good for the skin. Definitely not good for the hair. Ay, caramba. Oh man, that is... No bueno, Katrina. I don't even know what I'm saying. I just know that hurt. Yikes. Whew, frizziness, not my friend. Okay, putting the brush into my backpack now. Getting out of a hotel room is just like the most stressful thing because you always try not to forget anything because if you do, 
you're gonna need to buy it again or come back. We made it to Wilmington, North Carolina last night and we drove about five and a half hours and we stopped midway to get some dinner so it was a really, really long day. But we made it, totally fine. We're staying at an Airbnb here and it's actually pretty cute. This is my room. So, really cute. And then, nice little bathroom that I've already taken over with all of my things. I'm wearing my Ted Baker dress today, really like this. It's got a really pretty back that I need to zip up to. So this is my room and then Tiffany is staying in the other one and I'm just standing in the closet because there's really good lighting in here, much better than the rest of the room. But just wanted to fill you guys in a little bit. We're here for two more days, so today is Thursday. We're gonna have a full day with the client today lots of meetings and then we're gonna go to dinner downtown and then we want to try to go to a beach bar but the beach is like 25 minutes away on the other side so we may not make it out there but we shall see we may we may not i woke up this morning feeling so incredibly tired because i've been getting like five hours of sleep every night because i can't go to bed until around 1 to 1 30 a.m east coast time because <laughs> That's 10, 11 p.m. back home. I don't really want to get adjusted to this time zone because I'm going to San Francisco next week. So there's no reason for me to get used to East Coast time. So anyway, just steam this dress. This is the Ted Baker one, like I said. And I have two steamers. This is super random, but this is like my portable one. And I got this from Amazon. It's a brand called Per Steam. It was a super random recommendation from my friend Kelly, but it works really well, surprisingly, and it fits much better than the other one that I had. The other one is gigantic, and it would have taken up way too much of my suitcase, so I didn't go for that one. But anyway, I just wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit, fill you in. I'm a little tired, not gonna lie, but it's fine. We've been eating like fried bad food all week and I went to the gym Monday and Tuesday night at the hotel but now we're at an Airbnb so I'm gonna try to walk see if we can do some like beach walking something like that so I don't feel quite as unhealthy with all the food but we're gonna go pick up some coffee at Port City Java I think it's called and we're gonna pick up some desserts and stuff for our clients so we can just bring in a little bit of breakfast as we walk into their building so we're gonna go do that now. I'm gonna fix this hair first because I haven't brushed it. I just put it up and it's still wet from my shower last night. Like it is still damp. That is the crazy thing about humidity. My hair never seems to freaking dry because there's just too much moisture in the air. Like it is literally still wet from last night. That can't be good for me. I hope that doesn't get me sick. People say that being cold doesn't make you sick and I think that's a load of shit. If I'm wet and cold, I will get sick. Guaranteed. And maybe my immune system is that of like a five-year-old, but I will get sick if I'm wet. So my hair is still a little wet. Eek. Okay, well, I'm gonna brush it out and hope for the best and we'll see how I look. Let's do this. Outfit of the day really quick, Ted Baker. My Zushu boots, Louis Vuitton. We got our pastries and they're getting everywhere.
we're at this adorable restaurant and I just wanted to show you guys this adorable patio. This is really, really nice. There's no one out here because it's super humid, but it's just adorable back here. Like how cute. And this opens and closes. This would be perfect for a private party. Hmm. Having dinner, I ordered an eight ounce filet mignon. I'm so freaking excited. You guys know if you've been here for a while that I love steak. And I ordered it with asparagus, Brussels sprouts, and there's potatoes. And I love potatoes too, so I'm really excited. So I will show you what the food looks like when it arrives. And we're just sipping on wine and enjoying great company. It's really fun. Thank you. Roasted? Roasted, yeah. So we are doing the very North Carolina thing. We are literally sitting outside on <laughs> white rocking benches, literally white rocking benches, and we got our wine and we're just watching the traffic and being, I don't know, we're just watching people. <laughs> we're being tourists, but this is like a very southern thing. You sit on your white porch and I'm going to say I thought this was shutter home. <laughs> this is like the not classy wine. I get it, but it is almost 11 o'clock at night and all the Walgreens and CVS's were closed. So this was the only option at the gas station and apparently it's Suter Home. So I was schooled on the name of it. We're enjoying it and I got ice cubes in there. It's fine. It tastes great. It tastes fucking great. 